Okay, my students, let's start off with some easy ones. Do those four for me, please. Oh, zero divided by six, zero. Zero on the bottom is undefined, undefined, undefined. Oh, be dreaming about that tonight. Oh, wait. Zero on the bottom is undefined, undefined, undefined. Six divided by six is one. Oh, if you didn't get all four of those right, no dessert for you. Okay, let's try another group. Oops. Do those four for me, please. When you're done, turn me back on. Okay. No parentheses. So this is 6 squared. Take the opposite. So negative 36. Oh, there is parentheses. So it's negative 6 times negative 6 and square it. Well, negative 6 times negative 6 or is negative 6 squared. Same thing. So it'd be positive 36. So this is 7 minus 6 squared. 6 squared is 36. So it would be a negative a 29. And then in parentheses, 7 minus 6 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Okay, grab these four. Then turn me back on. Okay, it's or. Same direction, my students, so it's the longer one. I have to call. <coughs> Sorry about that. And same direction, shorter one. Yes. Oh, it's going in opposite directions. It's a hug from mom. It's all reels. Remember, all reels, everything is shaded. Yes. In this one, it's going in opposite directions, but no overlappage, and it's an end, so it is no reels. So if you have this, less than three. Here's greater than four. Where is their shading on both? That's what we're looking for for an and. And. And I don't see any shading on top of each other. It's blank. So it's no reels blank number line. Thank you very much. Let's flip it and see what we got. Solve and graph. This one I took up a little too much space. So do those two for me, please. We'll do this one. We'll do it this way. Do this one for me, please. So add six, so it'd be 26 to x, 36. Divide everything by two, so it's 13. X less than or equal to 18. So it's everything between 13 and 18, there's an equal, so it's solid dot, solid dot, Wee. Okay, now do this one, then turn me back on. Okay, so distribute the by 5x minus 10, 5 has to be distributed to both, minus 2x is greater than x plus 10, now, when it's on the same side, you just combine. 5x minus 2x is 3x. So I'm going to subtract x. So that'd be 2x, add 10, and then divide by 2. So I have the numbers bigger than 10 or smaller than negative 10. So here's smaller than negative 10, and here's bigger than 10. 
Okay, here's two inequalities uh, with absolute value. Solve those two and then turn me back on. So this one, remember, if I have a variable inside the absolute value, you have to break it up into two parts. Break tor is or. Take the opposite. Now I'm going to do that in the first step. So I just took the opposite of both terms. So minus and minus 4 is plus 4. Opposite of 2x is negative 2 So add 4. Divide by 2. Here I'm going to subtract 4. Oh, this is so much fun. Divide by negative 2. Yay. Okay, this one. It'd be x minus 6 equals 10. Or the opposite. Wow, that got a little crooked. So add 6. Uh, this one, subtract 6, divide by negative 1. So if the direction said solve and graph, it would be solid dots. No shading because there's no inequalities. Dot. Dot. Okay, oops. Do those two, and then turn me back on. Okay, so this would be 6 minus x is less than or equal to 10. And the opposite. So subtract 6. Take the opposite of both sides, so you got to switch the inequality. This one adds 6 to both sides. So it's everything between negative 4 and 16. And it's solid dot. Solid dot, because there's equals. Everything in between. Now here, I want to get the absolute value by itself, so I'm going to subtract 8. Now I'm going to divide by negative 2, but whenever you divide by negative, you have to switch the inequality. Negative 18 divided by negative 2. Two negatives make a positive. So then you break it up into two parts. And it's an and now, less than the opposite of the inside. So subtract one. Here I'm going to add one. Take the opposite of both sides, switch the inequality. So it's everything between negative 10 and 8. Doink, doink, doink. Okay, we're about done. A couple more problems in part two.